Hello, for all of you that know me, you can call me Crow. My last video was uploaded about five months ago, so I decided to come back with a bang. And no, I'm not naked. Wearing a dress. A dress. So I've decided today to read you some John Keats in a funny accent. You can decide if it's Scottish or French or whatever. Alright, this one is Ode to a Nightingale. It is two and a half pages long. I'll just read up to stan the end of stanza three. <clears throat> My heart aches and is drowsy numbness pains. My sense as though of hemlock I had drunk or emptied some dull opiate that to the drains. One minute past the leaf words had sunk. Tis not through envy of thy happy lot, but being too happy in thine happiness, that thou, light-winged dryad of the trees, in some melodious plot of beechen green and shadows numberless, singest of summer in full-throated ease. Stanza two. Oh, for a draught of vintage that has been cooled a long age in the deep delved earth, tasting of flora and the country green. Dance the provincial song and sunburnt mirth. For over a beaker full of the warm south, full of the true, the blushing hippocrine, with beaded bubbles winking at the brain and purple stained mouth. That I might drink and leave the world unseen, and with the thief fade away into the forest dim. Stanza three. Fade away, dissolve, and quite forget what thou among the leaves hast never known. The weariness, the fever, and the fret. Here where men sit and hear each other groan, where palsy shakes a few sad last gray hairs, where youth grows pale, the specter thin and dies, where but to think is full of sorrow and leaden-eyed despairs, where beauty cannot keep her lustrous eyes, or new love pine at them beyond tomorrow. That was the angry Scottish accent, I think. Maybe French, not sure. Hope you enjoyed three stanzas of Keith.